Hello and welcome to Ignite TV. So good of you to join us today and Merry Christmas! We have a very special episode. The reason for the season, our Christmas special episode. We have Lindley sharing on hope and Anna sharing on the importance of family and how it is so important to be around family at Christmas time. If this is your first time tuning in and watching Ignite TV, we'd love to invite you to like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube and on Facebook. Hosanna, Hosanna, King is born. What an incredible story. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords born in a manger, in a stable. A manger, a place where animals eat from, like a trough or a, a place where hay is put or food for sheep or cows. What an amazing example of a king coming from heaven to set us free, humbling himself, putting himself in the lowest of lows of situations, being born in a stable of all places. What an incredible example. What an incredible savior Jesus is. You know, the story of Christmas starts with Mary and Joseph riding on a donkey all the way to Bethlehem. And when they get there, there is no room at the inn. So the only option is for him to go into a stable. And the only place where he's able to be laid is in a manger. And like I said earlier, it's the lowest of low for a king to be placed in a manger. Many people came and visited Jesus on that night. The Bible says there was a massive star over the stable, pointing people in the direction of where the king was born. Hosanna, Hosanna, the field was surrounded by angels and the shepherds watching the sheep at night saw millions of angels worshipping and praising God that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords was finally here to set man free. Jesus was born in a stable by his virgin mother Mary so that man could live for eternity with Father God. 33 years later, his life would end on a cross so that we could have life eternally and the atonement of sin could be paid for on the cross so that we could live with Father for eternity. It started in a manger, in a stable, humble beginnings, but the Jesus Christ transformed the world, transformed the world through the power of the gospel and the power of the cross. Such humble beginnings had such an amazing impact on the world. So much so that this day we still celebrate Christmas. We still celebrate every year the birth of a Savior, Jesus. And I want to encourage you today, if you haven't met Jesus, if you've never invited Jesus into your heart, why not do it at Christmas time? Why not do it at this time of year? Why not invite Jesus into your heart so that you can live with eternity with him, so that you can have everlasting life? The whole purpose of Jesus coming to earth was so that we could live in his kingdom for eternity and rule and reign with him. What an amazing example. What an amazing God that he was able to humble himself, come to earth, start with such small beginnings and able to shape mankind forever. If you don't know Jesus today, I would love to invite you just to say a prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me my sins. We thank you for dying on the cross for me. And from this day forward, I would love to give my life to you. If you've said that for the very first time, I want to say welcome to the family of God and Merry Christmas. Remember, this time of year is about the birth of Jesus and also the resurrecting power of Jesus. Sometimes we get caught up with Santa Claus and gifts and presents and all those sort of things and eating turkey and chicken and all those amazing things that are all awesome. And I'm not against those things. But just this Christmas, just remember the reason for the season is because Jesus loves you came to earth, died on a cross for you, and wants to know you intimately. Do you have hope in your heart for the year ahead? You know, Christmas is a time of the year 
that we look back on what's happened and then we look forward into the year ahead with hope in our hearts that it's actually going to bring us new opportunities and times of happiness and great success. Hope is a powerful force. It's an optimistic state of mind that is based on the expectation of positive outcomes. My question to you today is, do you have hope? Do you have hope for good things coming your way? You can have this hope mindset because believing in Jesus is the basis of your hope. Hoping in God will never lead you into a path of despair or failure. The Bible says that God has a plan for your life to prosper you and not to harm you. It says that he has plans to give you a hope and a future. So putting your hope in Jesus is actually trusting that he has a future for you that is full of goodness and that your life will have fulfillment. As we look back on this past year, we can be focused on all the awful things that have happened war, strife in the economy, and then we can have a tendency to look forward and then worry about the future, that maybe even something worse is ahead. Or we can have hope in our hearts. We can look through the eyes of hope that there is light despite of all the darkness, that there is light that Jesus brings into our lives and into the world that brings us a hope for our cities and our nation. As we come into the Christmas season, I encourage you to let your hope, not your fear, shape your future. Let hope rise in your heart and let it lead you into expecting really good things and positive outcomes ahead. So my prayer for you is may you come to know the true hope this season that is Jesus. For he was born to give this world an everlasting hope for eternity. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may have an overflow of hope flowing through your life in the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to bless you today as you tie up loose ends in your heart Forgive those people that have hurt you this year. Let go of grudges. Let go of hard situations that you've gone through and turn the page. Turn the page with hope in your heart. Turn the page knowing that Jesus has a great plan for your life and enter into the next year with the great mindset of hope, having positive expectations of what is ahead. God is a father and he sent his son Jesus to the earth to be born into an earthly family. See, relationship is so important to God. Jesus came to reveal the Father and restore us to relationship with him. Family is so important to God, and he desires every one of us to be his sons and daughters. I know that there are many people that don't have the privilege of having family, or maybe they're far away from family members or loved ones or different circumstances. But I do know that God desires to draw you in to the family of God. There's an amazing scripture in the Bible that says, God is father to the fatherless. He defends the widows. He puts the lonely in families and he sets the prisoners free and gives them joy. I know that many people right now are feeling stress and pressure. Not everyone right now is feeling joy at this time. God is a father. He is a defender and he is a provider. I encourage you this Christmas season to open your heart to Jesus and the good news that he came to die for you, to give you everlasting life but also to walk in relationship with him in this lifetime so you can cast your cares and your concerns on him. If you are living in lack, if you are living in poverty, if you are struggling, God desires to set you free and bring you joy this holiday season and beyond.
If you've been impacted by this message or any of the messages throughout the year, we invite you to get in touch. You can email us or send us a message via Facebook. And if you are looking to connect into a church, we'd love to help you with that too. So we're going to take a break. We're going to go to the beach, spend time with family and have a rest. Yeah. We will see you again in 2023. So good. Hey, I'd just love to pray a prayer of blessing over you over this holiday period. So Father, we just thank you for every single one of our viewers. We just pray a blessing over them through this Christmas period, this Christmas season. We pray peace. We pray refreshment. We pray new hope that 2023 is going to be the best year yet. Yeah. All right. And then we just pray good things to come in your future. In Jesus' mighty name. Have an amazing summer, guys. We'll see you in February.